Sense of frustration permeated the Mill Creek Township Municipal Building today as the township's general authority hosted two open houses to discuss redevelopment along West A Street near Presque Isle. It's an issue that's divided the township with some residents calling the idea progress while others call it real estate speculation. I'm over the top frustrated. I never thought I'd see government in our township do something like this with our savings and behind the scenes like this. Palpable frustration in Mill Creek today with some residents upset by the general authorities plan to spend more than seven million dollars buying and redeveloping properties like the Bel Air and Manor Motel. I don't think the public is getting um, solid answers. I think they're just getting a sales pitch. Former Supervisor Sue Weber says the project is misguided and she's asking for a pause on the plans. She thinks the township overpaid for the properties, and she wants more public input before more money is spent. It's too late on the Bel Air. I want the sale of the sandbar stopped, the sale of the Manor Motel stopped, take a step back, get more public input, take those properties, let commercial realtors market them. Supervisor Kim Clear, by contrast, calls the proposal a step forward. She acknowledges the authority can always be more transparent and says meetings like today's are part of that process. I think that we have done everything, yes, by the book, by the letter of the law, um, regarding the negotiations of these properties. And I think it is now time that we can actually um, stand on the soapbox and start screaming, what is it that you want to see? We want to hear and we want to have the public involved in, in the ongoing process. But some residents aren't convinced. They point to the township's stormwater flooding problems, saying money should have been spent on those before considering redevelopment. So to take on such a huge project um, before all the little things or all the ongoing things are addressed, I think that's just the wrong path to take. Clear agrees that stormwater is an issue, but says both redevelopment and stormwater problems can be addressed together, pushing for action on a slate of issues. We've been kicking the can down the road, we've been making plans, and we haven't been doing anything. Now is when we have to start doing something. There's a second open house going on right now. That runs until uh, 6.30 tonight. It clear noted that, yes, the township is giving the money to the authority to purchase these properties, but any money from the sale of those properties once they're sold to developers and then any, of course, increased tax revenue goes back to the township. She views the $7 million as more of a loan uh, than a grant. We'll see how this all shakes out. Obviously, at events like these, you tend to get more people who are opposed to an idea than in favor of it, and that's why they come to public meetings, which is a good thing. So where does the community sit on this as a whole? You'd have to go and ask the fine folks if Mill Creek can do some polling there, but you'd be hard-pressed to find someone who doesn't have an opinion on it one way or the other. Oh, absolutely, and it's a big project, so Multi -years. it's only the start this of our reporting on it. The very, very beginning. Stick with us for the next several years. We'll keep you posted on this.